Hello everyone, and this is the Foxtech YouTube channel, your source of all the tips and tricks to fix your iPhone, iPad, and Apple Watch related problems. This time we talk about Facebook, more importantly, if the session expired on Facebook and how you can fix it, what you can do about it. Well, this is a problem which usually happens because of an inactivity. Perhaps you're doing something, you're just browsing the Facebook app or you do something specific like trying to create a post or doing whatever, but if you just let the iPhone, let the device, the Facebook sit there, uh, for a certain period of time then after that this session is going to expire so what you can do very easily is just to restart the facebook app so you can just turn it off swipe up and just relaunch uh, it again this might fix the problem but also the second thing is making sure that you have proper internet connection it may happen that because your iphone is not properly connected whether using the cellular data or wi-fi well this could also be the reason why the session is expired because the iphone cannot refresh cannot get fresh content from facebook inside of the app and the reason for that is because of the internet connection so you want to make sure that you're either connected to wi-fi or have the cellular data enabled now if you have this problem on an android device you can easily just restart it or clear the cache of this specific app relatively simply because you can always just open up the settings and find it there but this time we are talking about iphones and you cannot just clear cache easily for any app but the only method how you can technically clear cache on your iphone is by restarting it so this is another thing which you can definitely try out you can either hold down the lower a volume button as well as the power button for the slider to appear or alternatively you can go to the settings navigate to the general section and at the bottom you have the shut down button just swipe the slider restart the iphone once again and try to see if anything has changed inside of the facebook app most likely something did in fact change or improved so this is something that you can always just try out whenever you have and experience any sort of problems another thing you can try out is of course deleting the facebook app and reinstalling it fresh this would make sure that you have the latest version and also get rid of the old one and speaking of versions of apps you can always just open up the app store and navigate to the search bar and look up the Facebook app because chances are that there is a new update available as you can see this is exactly my case and I have one update available which hasn't been installed so this may very likely happen that the new version is going to fix some minor bugs and glitches any problems you have with the app so you always want to make sure that you run on the latest version of your software whether it applies directly to the Facebook app or gen generally to the iOS you also want to make sure that you run the latest iOS and this would basically wrap up today's video I just wanted to explain the problem and show you and explain also some possible solutions to this problem so if you found this video uh, valuable and useful what you can do is to click on the subscribe button to make sure that you don't miss future content like this one and also leave a thumbs up on this tutorial so you can let me know that you liked it thanks a lot for watching and i'll catch you in the future peace out till then